So I have decided to make this simple tutorial to clarify the concepts of graphs in Python. If you look at the left side of the screen, you'll see a graph. And on the right side of the screen, you'll see a Python um, IDE, and this is PyCharm. So I want to see how we can represent this graph in code like this. And it's going to be really easy because I'm going to clarify. The first thing you want to know is the terms used in graphs. So the first thing you want to know is we have two terms or three terms you have to know. We have vertex and vertex, the plural is vertices. And we have edge, of course it's edges, and we have node. Now, the confusion is what now is the difference between the three? Well, vertex is the nodes. A vertex is the same as node. So don't get it confused. Sometimes some textbooks use vertex and some use nodes. Now, these are the vertex or vertices. They have vertex A, B, C, D, and E, which are nodes A, B, C, D, and E. So let's stick with one term. Let's uh, stick with vertex at this time. But know that vertex is the same as the node. All right, so we have edge. I'll uh, have edge AB, edge BD, edge AC. So an edge is a connection between a vertex and a node. Now this graph you see here is called bidirectional. I call it bidirectional because we don't have arrows in the edges. So in this case, it means that AB is the same as BA. Okay, so let me just complete this by directional. Okay, so let's see. Now, in this case, how do you represent a graph? If you, want, if you are given a graph in Python, you will be given two things. One of them is the list of the vertex, uh, vertices. So I'm going to call it vertex. And you also will be given the list of the edges. So let's stick with, uh, this is V is equal to a list of items and edges as well is equal to edges E is equal to a list of items as well. Now from this graph you can make up the list of edges and also the list of the vertices. In this case the vertices V will have will be A, B, C, D and E. So these are the edges. And now let's check, these are the vertices. And let's check the edges. The first edge is AB. So we have AB. Another one is AC. So we have AC. Another one is BD. So we have BD. We have CD, which is this one, CD, we have CD, and we have DE. All right, so this is what you'll be given. Now, this is not exactly the Python representation of the graph. Python rep representation of the graph is in form of an adjacency list, which is also represented using a dictionary in Python. So it's going to be an add Adjacency, 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 let me just write it, list, or adjacency matrix, and it's represented as a dictionary in Python. So what does this mean? It means that for each of the nodes, or for each of the vertex, you want to specify the vertices that are reachable from that vertex. So for instance, if you have vertex A, the vertices that are reachable from A is B and C, right? So the vertices that are reachable from A are B and C. The vertices reachable from B, uh, from B is A and D and so on. So in that case, to represent this graph you, in Python, you are, going to have, you are going to represent it as an adjacency list. That means that we will have a graph is going to be made up of two items each. So it has to be a key value pair. We have an we have A and we'll have 
the nodes reachable or the vertices reachable from A will be B and C. Comma, we have B and the vertices reachable from B are A and D. So this is basically it. I will allow you to complete the remaining part. And in this case, I'm going to simply go to Python and let, let me represent exactly this graph we are working with. So I'm going to Python now and I'm going to simply create the graph. So let's call it graph is equal to a dictionary. And we are going to have item A made up of a list of items. It's going to be B and C. And we have item uh, vertex B is made up of. So you can guess it. So it's going to be A. And so we have that B is made up of A and what? A and D. So I'm going to kind of speed up the video while I write. So you have A and D. Right, so this is a representation of this graph in Python, and we can simply go ahead to click uh, to, uh, to print out this graph by saying print graph, and it's simply going to print out this graph as you can see right here. So it prints out for each item, for each node, it prints out the nodes that are reachable from that node, and that's exactly and that's exactly the Python representation of the graph. Now, I've made some items I want us to cover. We want to display the graph vertices, the graph edges, add a vertex, add an edge, and creating a graph as well. We actually have created a graph. So let's print out the vertices of this graph. In Python, you simply use the keys. You print out the keys of the dictionary. So if I say, uh, I can just say uh, vertices, that's the plural of vertex is vertices, is simply graph dot dot keys and if i print out the vertices now you'll see that it prints out all the uh, all the nodes of this graph as you can see right here so you have a b c d and e now how do we print out the edges so in this case we have a b a c c d a b a b a c b d c d and d e all right so remember that we have, in this case, we have, in this case, you can see AD, and we have AD repeated here. So this is different from printing out the edges. So these are the nodes reachable from B, all right? But we can also, given a graph, we can print out the edges. So let's try to do exactly that. So we are going to use a loop. So I'm going to use a loop. First, we have to make, um, uh, we want to create a list of items that's going to hold the edges. So I'm going to say, and the edge is made up of two items, so it's going to be either a tuple or a dictionary. So I'm going to say edges is equal to a list of items, and for each edge, we have two items, the source and the target, or the origin and the destination. So I'm going to use a for loop, so I'm going to say for, for vertex, for each of the vertex in the graph, for each of the vertex in the graph. So when we have for vertex in graph, okay, so we have for vertex in graph, which represent this A here, we are now going to use another loop for item in vertex, for item, not for item in vertex, for item in graph, of that particular vertex okay okay perfect now we are going to now add to the edge a uh, vertex item which is a b or a c all right so i'm going to say edges dot append and specify a dictionary which is made up of two items which is vertex and the item and at this time, we are done. We should be able to have the list of edges in this graph. So if I print out, if I print out the edges at this point, we are going to have a list of all the edges. You can see uh, right here, 
have B A C A B A. Now you have some things are repeating themselves. Okay. So to remove the repetition, we are going to only add to the edges when the item is not already there. So I'm going to say if if this item I want to add, which is this edge of vertex item, because this is an edge, it's made up of a vertex, it's made up of two things, the, the origin and the destination, right? Okay, so if this item is not in edges, that is the only condition we are going to add that edge to the graph or to the list of edges we have here. So if I run this code now, we can see that you can see that we have all our edges. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, since I really don't want this video to be so long, I want you to take some time to kind of uh, absorb what we've discussed so far because there are a number of other things that can be done with a graph. For instance, we talked about breadth for search, depth for search, to search for an item in a graph. We also have traversals. And we have a number of other things that should be done with a graph. And we here I listed additional two we've not done so far. But for now, I want you to take some time to get your head around this. And this is exactly how to represent a graph in Python. This is an introduction. I want to thank you for viewing. Uh, in the next part, we continue working with graph. And I would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And we we'll see you in the next part.